Okay guys, I'm going to give a quick rundown on how to use Void, Fire Surge, and a PK. So here you go guys. In tile distance, we can stack mage and ranged hits. Can allow for easy combos, but going over 10 tiles may unfreeze your opponent. Void is paper thin, so make sure your protection prayers are very, very accurate. Mage and range will hit hard. And also, a shield with good range defense is very likely going to be your friend here. One shot by, by the most powerful thing here, which is melee. So, what I like to do is go for a freeze first. Very important, as you want to be... Fully charged, stocked up on your food, as well as have the appropriate potions here. So here's what I use. I dev now you don't use it, have to use it, all that I use, but it, it is the most optimal, and you are, are the most powerful list, uh, except one thing that I'm missing, which is the imbued heart. But what I use is divine super combat potion, divine ranging potion, menifite remedy. I use stamina anti venom. I use extended anti fires, and uh, I think that about that. That's it, guys. So make sure you have that as well as charge. Having a melee weapon, which is potentially a Void Waker, I try to have protect melee on, as well as potentially switching to protect from magic as, hey, granite, granite Maul plus Void Waker. So here's what I do. Entangle. I always try to catch freeze first. If I don't catch freeze a bunch, I go for ranged melee. It's frozen for about 15 seconds here. So... What I like to do is to switch to range hits. And you can just switch from Augury to Ridge Orb. And if they're not fighting back, you can flick Smite. Not cast it for like 3 minutes. You can even use it as a delay buffer to hide and conceal hits. But if they're not praying magic, a Void Waker is a good thing to do. Somewhere where there's monsters with more high HP. Notice how none of my stats are non-boosted, and I am completely potted up. Oh, except for that. You can also use Rapid Heal to buff for every 59 seconds, so that you can stay 121 HP. Go as followed. Entangle Surge, then 3-way switch Shield, Bow, helmet and then either void waker or you can camp a dfs defender melee helmet it's a special attack so so let's see what we can do here now i like to pretend that they are just doing their prayers as well So we can just go ahead and freeze everything. Like if it's meleeing you, bam. You just freeze it, go like that. When it can't melee you, it can only do range or mage. So when it can melee you, it can also do magic though with the Void Waker. So you have to take that into consideration. However, you're not trying to be hit off prayer here by melee whatsoever because melee is going to kill you the quickest with like a granite maul combo all day. <coughs> And as well as the Void Waker Granite Maul combo. So you guys, that that is what we are most worried about. I try to keep above at least 100 HP here, guys. So also not try to keep it, the prayer level under 46. Around level 46, you can just go back to level 70, I believe. So that doesn't waste too many prayer levels. Again, you got to factor in your own stats here, as I am on a mass account here. But let's just demonstrate for a little bit more here. And pretend he's praying range right there. Let's just go for magic. We can also just do some dead DDing right here. So that he cannot melee me whatsoever. <laughs> and that has been the video. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you so much for watching guys. I do PK fairly regularly like this. So 
Uh, I'll make another follow-up video if you have any questions. And let me know um, where else I could do this so I can, um, you know, get the prayers and everything here, guys.